Let's take a look at these two addition problems. Let's start with the one on the left, 437 plus 385. What this means is we're going to start with 437. Now I'm going to do my best to draw a model that represents that. Each of these will represent 100. So we have 100, 200, 300, and 400. Each line or rod I draw will represent 10. So there's 10, 20, 30, and then each little cube will represent a 1. So as you can see here, we have 400, 410, 420, 430, and 7 ones for a total of 437. What we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to add in 385. So that means another 100, 200, 300, and 8 tens rods. and five ones. Now in order to find out how many we have total, let's go ahead and start by counting the hundreds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven hundreds so far. I'm going to write seven H for seven hundreds. Now we're going to count how many tens we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 tens, and here's where we have an issue. If you have more than 10 tens, you need to take them and form a group of 100, just like these other squares. So I'm actually going to remove 10 of these. Now I'm not getting rid of them. All that I'm doing is I'm taking the first 10 and I'm changing them into a 100 just like the rest of those. And the reason is they are completely equal. 10 tens is equal to 100. So now instead of having 7 hundreds, I actually have 8. And how many tens do I have left over? Well, just one of them. There's one ten. Now last, let's count our ones. I have 7 up here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, I have greater than 10, which means I need to take the first 10, and this time, since they're ones, I'm going to form a tens rod with them. So now I don't only have one, I have two tens and two ones. So if I were to count all of this now, I could see I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 810, 820, 821, 822 for our correct answer. Over here we could solve this rather quickly now that we know how to go about it. Oops, let's use the same color. We start with 514, so I'm going to draw 5 100s, and then a 10 and four ones. Oops. These are all hundreds. We have our ten and our four ones. And we're going to add in 223. That means two more one hundreds, two more tens, and three ones. Let's count how many we have all together. Hundreds, I see a total of, that's the number four, five, there are seven hundreds, there are three tens, and there are seven ones for the correct answer of 737. This is one way to solve addition problems. If you know another way, you can use it, but it always helps to draw and visualize what you're actually doing.